and we're back with Benton Automation this time season two episode four I have to look at my notes for that because I get uh, I'm so tempted to say season one but you know what this is season two and last episode we went to Zarkovia we dealt with a dick prince and, and a dick king who transformed his body into that of Dr. Victor who made a return not the original Dr. Victor still a bit still a bit sore about that the original Dr. Victor didn't return, but you know what? It was fine. We got to see Dr. Victor again, kind of. But let's see what this episode brings. So let's just get into season two, episode four of Ben 10 Ultimate Aliens, starting right now. Starting out like in Chronicle here. The post to Bellwood took longer than I thought. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, what are you doing here, Jimmy? Oh God! Yeah, go go towards it. Oh yeah, just go for it. Go go have a look. Well done, Jimmy. But you know what? Five year old, like basically ten year old kid. Oh! Fuck no! 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 No, 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 no. Oh, it's seven seven. Hey, it's right. It's rough. I love rats so much. Well, I guess that about wraps things up. No, Gwen, you don't do that. That's not your thing. Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy, it's been a while. I think I must have defeated the alien plant monster in its cave, then staggered outside, but I kind of blacked out during the battle. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> My car's still in the shop, but think you can give us a ride? Nope. <laughs> Yeah, well, when you have a when you have a jet and a car, you don't really need a bus pass. But it was here, like a pod or a bulb from space. Sometimes when I eat late at night, I have nightmares so real I wake up hitting the Ultimatrix. It really happened. One time, I thought I saw Vilgax hiding in my closet. It was one of Grandpa Max's extra shirts. No thanks, I'm allergic. Let's get you home. It's like everyone in town flushed the toilet at the same time for two days straight. And who uses water, Jimmy? Plants. That's who. I'm not imagining this. Okay, Jimmy centric episode. I'll I'll take a I'll take a swing at it. It's better than Cash and JT. That's Ben. Your will is my command. Ben Tennyson, the guy who reminds us daily that he saved the Earth on several occasions and the galaxy at least once. If the water table graphs aren't enough to convince you, what do you have to say about this? It's a picture of Ben outside a cave. It's not going to be much. No credible person would ever take this as real proof. Welcome back to the Wolverine Nation. Our guest today, Jimmy Joe. No, Jimmy, why did you go to this guy? Tennyson is leading an alien invasion to take over the entire Earth. A story that you stumbled into by sheer luck. What? No, no, I'm telling the truth. Well, it's certainly the truth that if someone who claims to be Ben Menison's friend would betray him like this. <laughs> I love this show. Something really has Jimmy spooked. Maybe we should check it out. Yeah, but he's going to lie about Ben some more and I want to see. I can DVR. <laughs> Why does his mum let him go out so late? Well, oh, um, I wish you'd just come to me, Jimmy. Ooh! This is not the right music to be going with this. This is not the right music to be going with this scene. Yeah, 
Yo, ben is intimidating when he becomes the villain. Oh! Oh god! <laughs> the old Mentos and, and Coke trick. Oh! Oh no. Yeah, he's a lot more maneuverable than Humongosaur is. We checked out the cave, Jimmy. We know. Where are you? No, if you checked out the cave, I don't like this. The fact he's going the same speed as those cars is mad. Everything is going to be all right. Get in the car. What? What did you find in the cave? Later. Just get in. Yeah. I don't think so. Get in, Jimmy. Oh no. It's up to Jimmy to say. The master wants to know why it couldn't absorb him earlier. If there are others with his natural resistance, we need to know how it works. A creepy motherfucking alien. Yes, Master. We obey. Put him with the others. Others? No, let me go. Oh. Oh. Clones. Oh, the oh the that's what they're after. Okay. What's the matter? Allergic to peanuts? And not allergy. Whoa! This thing made a perfect plant copy of you, including your DNA. That's how it got onto the. Okay. Because with Ben's DNA, it can attach to it. This is going to be interesting. Whoa, what, what powers are those? Oh! Gwen is not the one for the puns. Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh! Ah. I know Jimmy's got a couple of the ones coming clutch. Uh, ouch! Okay, so teams are mobilized. Jimmy, what are you gonna do? I'll save you. Jimmy! Jimmy! Alien beaten by a not allergy. Terrible. Go on. Oh no. Spicy meatball! That's murder. Jimmy, you're a real reporter. <laughs> yeah, from now on we'll know to take you seriously. No matter how nutty you say, you see what I did there? <laughs> now that's a better pun. Really? Why is it funny when he does it? Because he's funny. I think it's the delivery. Yeah. Go on, Jimmy! Oh yes, that was a fun one. A good one. A very good one, actually. I'm wondering, do where does this rank? Hmm. It's very rare that we take a step away from our main characters, and usually when we do it's not... Well, actually, I think there's been two times when we've stepped away from our main characters. One was very good, the other not so good. That was the B team and JT and Cash. This one we this one we had a step in with Jimmy, and it was a lot. It was 
it was better. It was better than it was. It was better than the GT and Cash one for sure. And it's not. It's not better than the. It's not better than the uh, the B team one though. But in terms of this season and this show even because that was in Alien Force. Uh, in terms of this season, it's better than episode two. It's better than episode one. But I don't think I'll rank it above episode three. Yeah, I don't think I'll rank it above episode three. So as it stands right now, it's two, one, four, three. So you know what? It was still a good episode. Jimmy proved himself in this episode. You know what? A Jimmy episode isn't something that I thought I would actually want. But you know what? It was very good. It was very good indeed. At, f at first, when he did, when he was reporting the whole thing, and then he was fighting against the alien, and then it clipped away, and then he, we saw him show back up with the with the the team. I thought, oh god, is he the one under mind control? Is he the one serving the alien? He's going to lure them all to get mind controlled. But you know what? It wasn't that because he, yes, he took Ben there, but Ben was changed. But Ben was changed, and then. I mean, in a, in, a, in a sense, he did lure them all there. He did lure them all there, didn't he? Because he took Ben there, and then Gwen and Kevin went there after they thought they should check out his story. So he kind of did lure them all there. But you know what? I love that Jimmy got to be the hero. He wasn't the one who dealt the final blow, which I thought was a shame, because I would have liked the nut allergy thing to be the, the final blow. Jimmy getting the final shot. But you know what? That went to Ultimate Swamp Fire. In a, in a spectacle. So. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was mind control. But it wasn't. They were creating perfect clones of them. Speaking of which. That fight. How they ended those clones was pretty brutal. Ben's got burnt alive. And Gwen's had her arms cut off. And then chopped in half. And then Kevin's was just. Beaten to death with a mace. So. All pretty brutal deaths. And also, Ben is, once again, Ben is terrifying when he becomes the villain of an episode. Like, it happened with the B-Team episode, and it happened again pretty much in this episode, kind of, when he was chasing Jimmy around the, the supermarket. It's actually quite scary. But you know what? He, he pulled it off. He, he managed to escape temporarily to... And Gwen, and Gwen and Kevin found him, and then that's when you realise they were under control as well. Like, oh no. Oh no. And... I would have liked if Max had shown up to help, but you know what? We didn't. We didn't really need him. Jimmy was able to do it all by himself. Go on, Jimmy. Where is his mum, and where? How is she supervising him? Because he was out pretty much like three nights in a row. One of which, well, pretty much all of them, he was attacked by aliens. So where is his mother? You know what? It's fine. It's a kids' show. No, no one, no kids' parents cares about them in a kids' show because they're just out all the time. You know that was a creepy motherfucking alien. D props on the props on the design, the design team for that because it was the artist, the art team for that because that was a creepy looking alien. But thankfully, it's, go it's gone now. It kind of reminded me, like when it first like sprouted its its legs and it had its one eye. It kind of reminded me of the DNA aliens, you know, the face hooker things from the DNA aliens. It kind of remind it kind of reminded me of those. I don't think it's related in any way, because I think we're, we're done with the DNA aliens. I'd like to see them again, but I think we're done with them as villains. Oh, I felt such a sense of betrayal very, for a very short time when uh, Jimmy went to harangue to try and... But he's a kid. He's, he's not going to suspect that they're going to try and tear Ben down like that. He's just, he's just trying to, he's just trying to tell everyone that there's an, there's an alien conspiracy going on and it's about to be an invasion and yeah as usual harangue just twists at the words but you know what big up jimmy you came through for us this time and i think i'm gonna take him more seriously from now on because for the, pa the fa past few times for the pa from the past in the past when we've seen him i've not really taken him that serious you know what i kind of will at this point i will now because he was a he was a big help in the the Julie episode as well with with Julie and Ship and the sorting out of the relationship. He was he was kind of useful in that as well. Big up Jimmy. But for now, that is all we've got for this episode of Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Until next time, we are over and out. Bye.